We've got rafters that are 21 feet long, including a one and a half foot overhang. <clears throat> the height of the truss is six and a half feet. Determine the length of the base of the truss. So we want to know the bottom of this triangle. Um, but as we look at this, first thing we've got to realize is they told us that the rafters are 21 and a half, the 21 feet, but they've got a one and a half foot overhang. So first thing I'm going to do to find the top of my triangle up here is this is really 21 and a half minus one and a half. So this is 19 and a half because I'm going to use this triangle right here because this is a right angle. Um, if I use the whole triangle, I don't have a right angle, but if I use just half of it, I have a right angle here because we sure hope that, you know, um, my uh, base of the truss here was put up properly. So when I look at this, I want to find this side right here. I want to know how long this is. So I have this out here and then this. So remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, Pythagorean's theorem. I have A or B, so I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to put B squared equals 19.5. Now remember, this is the angle across from the right triangle, so this one has to be my hypotenuse, which has to be C. Which one's A and B? If, if you did A squared plus 6.5 squared, doesn't matter. It's going to work out the same way either way, okay? Now that I've got this written out, I need to get my calculator out and do some arithmetic because I don't want to do this in my head. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to first do both of these. So I'm going to do six and a half squared. Okay. So this is 42.25. So 42.25 plus B squared equals, and then I would have over here 19.5 squared, which is 308, 380, I mean 0.25. So to find B squared, I have to subtract the 42.25 from both sides. So I'm going to do, and what I would actually, if I was actually doing this, I would do 19.2 squared minus, I would have done it this way, okay? But you can also write them down and put in those numbers as well, but I could have done that. So and this is 338, but I'm not done right now. I have to take the square root. So I'm going to take the square root, and I'm going to use my answer button so I don't have to rewrite it. And obviously this, the 338 is pretty easy, but some of them are not. Um, now I want it to go, I haven't figured out how to change this computer. Yours probably just goes to decimal, but this one suck. Oh no, I want you to go. Come on. Give me a decimal. I, why aren't you giving me a decimal? I don't know how to use this calculator is the obvious. Okay, so. yesterday was working and then it gave me a decimal so what has changed so I'm gonna come here to mode okay and I'm gonna switch this to classic and see if this fixes it and I'm gonna do again 19.5 squared minus 6.5 squared and I'm gonna take the square root There we go. Okay. Um, it's whatever your calculator set to. So I got it off that math print, which is cool, but not what I wanted. So this is one side of it, right? I found one of these. I need both sides. So I'm going to take this times two. And then the base of my truss is 36.77. Now, when I look up here, you can see here that they gave us this with two decimal places. So then I would make sure my answer is at least two decimal places so I would make sure that my answer is 36.77 and I was all in feet so this is feet so that would give me the base of my truss so hopefully this helps you with this it's all about the picture and the the crucial part is making sure you get c in the right place remember that c 
the one that's over there by itself is always the one opposite the right angle. And you do have to have a right angle or Pythagorean theorem doesn't work.